Mike Babcock's investigation update. Mike Babcock was totally upset and quite disgusted about what Paul Bassinet from the Spit and Chicklets had to say last Tuesday. Well, as the NHLPA, which is the players' union, they think maybe these allegations that are coming up from all the veterans is true because like what we're seeing right now in a lot of sources there is somebody on the columbus blue jackets that uh yeah finds it uncomfortable and could this be true we will find out but i'm going to tell you something within the next two weeks and this upcoming wednesday with the golf tournament mitch marner and also Austin Matthews will probably be interviewed by many of the Toronto media about Mike Babcock and what he did during his coaching time. But look at the situation right now. He could have stayed retired last year, right? He announced retirement on 2022. However, this June 2022, when his almost $6 million contract ended for the four years of not coaching at all, but the Toronto Maple Leafs had to pay that. So uh, this is where it gets interesting. The Columbus Blue Jackets never in history gave a coach this amount. He got for two years. $4 million, so that's $8 million for the next two years, and we're not even, right, at training camp, and there's already complete, huge issues with Mike Babcock. I'm talking about an investigation that's not just going to stay with Columbus. This may go as far back as Detroit, Mike Medano, you remember that? 1499 he gets me at one more game and he was sat out not once but three times as a healthy scratch at the end of the year to not receive that 1500 games also you look at john frazen another one and we will probably go back to anaheim even so <laughs> for more updates on mike babcock and around the nhl especially the least please follow the tms hockey corner that's right my name is slims and thank you so much for all the continued support. Have a great day.